message of peace and his message of continual growth within all the people of the world. It's, it's important for all of us to come together and show unity uh, for, for the populations here in Los Angeles. Some people feel like everybody either economically or equal, and we know when Wall Street, when people, <laughs> when they occupied Wall Street, it meant that something is not on the same playing level, you know. I think his message specifically is saying that we need to start listening to our people once again, whether it's the color of our skin or just the minority group in general. I feel like in today's economy, we're starting to waver to a specific group of people. Predominantly, like I'd say, the upper class, and we're kind of not, we're not focusing on America as a whole. And that's predominantly what Mr. King would always, I guess, work towards, is getting everyone equal, letting everyone's right to be heard, letting everyone have that opportunity to, I guess, advance themselves. He was a really important person because he brings the peace for everybody. And now we are the same. We Everybody has the same rights. So we have the equals to be in peace and everybody respect each other. So for me, it's a really good person because bring the peace for everybody. Out of injustice, that we, we got to spring freedom and freedom from within. And that's why being part of this is so important that individuals can come together from no matter where, no matter what their background is, and come together and express that. He's very important because he's showing us what we had to do to be free. In a message of peace, he, he stood for both peace and justice. He, he taught us that peace and justice go together. You can't have justice without peace, and you can't have peace without justice. serve humanity and we are very glad we came today here because it's going to change the world. With the modern taking help us to change the world and we, we wish and we hope, we hope one day pretty soon. Uh, you know, Dr. King very much resonates with everything that we as Buddhists you know, believe and um, Reason we, you know, we, we also espouse you know, non-violence and the sanctity of life. And, um, so that's why uh, we have this every year. You know, this um, this particular you know venue and celebration. So we come every year. How important it is to uh, to know that the people that, before, that came before us, um, how, how much they fought for us to uh, understand that fighting for rights back then were hard. And, uh, just to have the opportunity to, to be next to other people that are different than us, uh, it's really important. Focus in on this picture, it's a really big photograph, and in, in there there's a little placard with a, uh, a quote from Genesis, and it says, Here cometh the dreamer, let us slay him and see what becomes of his dreams. And I think that's pretty powerful because today, what has become of Martin Luther King's dream. Mm -hmm. And I guess if there's a lesson about today, is that the differences between regions and people are fewer than the things that they have alike. And that's the, the message that we're taking to Watts as we leave this amazing event. The Unitarian Universalist Community Church of Santa Monica comes to the Martin Luther King uh, event every year in it, in numbers because we believe in the spiritual values that that Dr. King proclaimed uh, because we are a church where love is the doctrine and service is um, our prayer so the message of Dr. King is very relevant to us and we wish to support it. Acknowledge the similarities, Similarity. but celebrate, celebrate the differences. The differences. Amen. Amen.